Good morning everyone, today it's Saturday and I'm about to go to Greenwich. I thought it would be nice to go for a walk in the park and I also want to go to the bookstore. My favorite Waterstone store is there, so let's go. This is the lipstick that they used on Arwen in the Lord of the Rings movies, like on the actress. And I bought it and I love it. It's my favorite one so far. I just did some laundry and put it outside. So I'm gonna sit outside on my balcony for a bit and read. I have a blanket in case it gets cold, I have my book and I have a snack. I'll show you better outside. This is my new coffee mug. I got it in the office this week. They were giving out coffee mugs. I think it was the Freebie team or the Freebie org, I guess. It's cute. I bought this reading lamp that you can clap on your book but later on I realized it only works for hard covers because this is just way too heavy for a paperback luckily I'm reading a hard cover right now so it works I just finished doing my monthly finances. I usually do it in the beginning of the month, but I was traveling early this month and I did it now, so a bit later than usual. I mentioned before how I track my finances every single month. This is something that I started doing a long time ago, almost as soon as I started working. However, I used to only look at the amounts and kind of replace them in a spreadsheet. I wouldn't keep track of the evolution of the accounts every single month. However, late last year, I decided to start doing that. So instead of just looking at my accounts and writing down the number that I have there, I keep a log line of every single month such that I can see the evolution over time. And I get quite a lot of questions about how I do this, how I keep track of my finances. And it's honestly very simple and I'm going to show you guys how I do it. I actually do this in a spreadsheet called Equals. It's a pretty cool spreadsheet website. I'll show you guys later. So I made a copy of my personal finance sheet and I obviously replaced the numbers and the column titles. Please don't read too much into these numbers. I literally made them up on the spot. They don't mean anything. This is really just an educational sample. So let's take a hypothetical example. This is someone that is employed and has like a small business on the side. And this person has a current account and a couple of savings accounts and then some investment accounts as well. And this person receives some stock from work. This person has some student loans and this person does not have a mortgage. But if you do, if you own property, you can obviously add it to the list as well. And then this person has some sort of small business, which they make a bit of money from. And this person also has a pension and pays into a private pension as well. At the beginning of each month, this person will look into all of these different accounts and will document the amount of money that is in each and every single one of them. If you have accounts in different currencies, this happens if you move countries, which I did, for example, then you can obviously keep track of this in different currencies as well and not the exchange rate, for example. I have that for pounds and euros because I live in Europe, but at the moment I'm working in England. Then I have a column which adds up the total. I like to account for the pension separately because it's not really like a net amount, so to speak. You will most likely pay tax on your pension once you receive it in the future. So I add it as a separate total. And then there's also this small business. A lot of people have like small businesses on the side, so I thought it would be a good idea to add a column for that. And then I account for this total in a different column. So this is like the total of your own money plus the total of your pensions and potentially a small business that you might own. 
And then I like to add a div column as well. In this column, you can see how much this person managed to save every month because you simply do the diff between the current month and the last month. And then the coolest part is you can do a nice graph with this. The blue line is this person's net worth and the red line is the net worth plus the pensions. As you saw, I'm tracking my personal finances on Equals. Equals is a spreadsheet, but it's basically an online database that has connections to certain data sources. It's quite a versatile tool, and I would say it's actually more of a corporate tool because a lot of companies use it to track their revenue and do their accounting. This part of the video is sponsored by Equals, so big thank you to them for supporting my channel and big thank you to you guys for doing so as well. Equals is sort of an upgraded Google Sheets, it has versioning and collaboration capabilities and in addition to that it is able to connect to external databases. It works very similarly to Excel, you can use the exact same formulas and shortcuts so if you've used Excel before you'll be very comfortable with Equals. Another plus point is that you can schedule recurring reports and have them sent to you on Slack automatically, which is pretty cool. As I mentioned before, I use it to track my personal finances because it has this cool feature of connecting directly to your bank account so you can read the balance from there. This will obviously save you the effort of manually updating the data every month, which is very convenient. This is the type of tool that is very useful for small businesses and startups because they operate on a much bigger scale. And this way the data is always up to date and it can be used to automate a lot of the accounting processes, which saves everyone a lot of time. If this sounds good to you, use the link below for a free trial. I need to tidy up now because my studio is a mess. And I'm gonna call Fatima. Fatima is my friend. She moved to Australia to do like a couple of years working abroad. It's not always easy to talk to her because of the time difference. So I'm gonna call her. I'm making some gnocchi. Good morning guys, it's the next day and I'm about to go to a B&M store to look at some fall decor, so let's go. I hope they have some nice candles. Wow, there's already a whole Christmas aisle. <laughs> it's September. So let's do a quick haul of what I bought. I got a fruit basket for my kitchen because I didn't really have a fruit basket and I would just improvise with plates. I got some dried grass to put on my vases. I got a mini pumpkin to put on my coffee table. Then I got two candles. This one and this one. I think this one is sandalwood and jasmine. And this one is, I'm not sure. I got a silicon ice cube tray. Then I also got some tea towels because I'm gonna close the door because I don't know if you can hear me. I got some tea towels as well because mine were starting to get pretty used and old. So got some fairy for the kitchen, some sponges, boring, also for the kitchen. Toothpaste. And then I got a little treat. For Java. How cute is this? I know that this is ridiculous, but I saw this and it was only two pounds and I thought I have to get it for my bunny. This is Java. Oh my god. <laughs> He's a Halloween bunny now. this pretty vase and I filled it up with the dried grass that I bought. I had to improvise as you saw and make a new arrangement because the one I bought was way too big and then I had a bit of leftover. I put it here in this little vase, have my small and sweet pumpkin here and then the big candle that I bought is here. Not gonna lie I'm kind of getting the Sunday scaries because right now I'm on call for work and I know that tomorrow I'm gonna have a really really busy day because there's this big on-call issue we had that I need to investigate and look into and potentially propose a solution to fix it. And at this stage, it's a bit unclear who's going to own the solution, whether it's our team or 
another team. So in fact, I'm not looking forward to the entire next week. Wish me luck. I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. I'm gonna watch some Gilmore Girls now and try to relax for the rest of my Sunday. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.